this is a quick review of the TCL C845. Uh, this is, um, um, of course, an Android TV. So as you can see, there's a lot of Android softwares here. I'll tell you later how to get like a bunch of uh, Android uh, uh, softwares that you're not supposed to have. But right now, talking about this TV, of course, I always say that the first uh, app that I normally use to test a TV is a Prime Video. This is called Prime Video has a lot of um, HDR content and HDR is how you judge if your TV gets bright enough because if a TV does not get bright enough I always feel like having HDR is just a waste of time because you won't watch it it's going to look bad and you end up in a situation where you end up just switching off the HDR and watching SDR content so one good thing about this as you can see uh, it's written HDR one good thing about this is this gets super bright because it's uh, 2000 nits and uh, this TV gets so bright that I remember I was watching football here uh, on um, Saturday with the Econini podcast crew. And uh, there's a friend of mine called Rapture. Of course, uh, a lot of you know Rapture, the scientist. And he was like, the TV is too bright. We need to reduce the brightness. That's how bright it gets. So that means that when you're watching HDR content, it just looks too good. HDR content looks really good. And uh, of course, um, apart from HDR, uh, we're talking about HDR 10 plus looks good. HDR10 looks perfect, Dolby Vision looks perfect, and I also tested like a bunch of SDR content because remember what I used to say about the TCL C75, a C735, it struggled with uh, even SDR content. This one here, the SDR content is also really good. So I can say like um, this is a TV that's good uh, for anyone who wants a really good TV, but maybe you don't want to go the OLED route. Uh, you might not want to go the OLED route because of two reasons. Maybe because the price will be too high. Um, uh, the price will be... Or the price is too high or the risk of burning. Where, you know, an OLED can just decide to... One day you wake up and you see some image in the background that's going nowhere. So because of burning, a mini LED becomes like the best option. And then apart from, uh, of course, uh, the TV looking really good, I think we have to just comment about the software because if you come to the software here and we come to the settings, as you can see, um, settings, you can come to system and then system about, and then you can see this is using like one of the latest softwares and that's Android TV 12. So the advantage of this is you get more softwares that you can install on this comp uh, on this uh, smart TV that you couldn't install on like even the C735. And so yes, so it's running one of the latest Android softwares. And uh, of course, um, apart from that, it's a really fast TV. That's one of the things that I've loved about it. When you try to load content, the content just uh, loads super fast depending on, uh, of course, if it's internet, it's going to depend on your network. But if your network is good, this loads faster than uh, anything else. And um, as I said, um, yeah, yeah, another thing that I loved about this TV is it's not an OLED, but the black gets really black. Like even right now, I'm standing next to it and the black looks really black. And I tested out this in the darkness, like uh, when the room is dark, you still feel like black is black. It's not just gray. Because no, things get grayish. But the black on this one gets really black and that helps because eventually when you're uh, watching content that has a lot of dark spots and a lot of dark corners and such stuff, the color still looks uh, uh, really good. Because I think I'd, uh, that was also like my biggest complaint with C735 is it just couldn't handle any dark spots. Like uh, when you're watching like dark content, it looked really bad. This one looks good. And... Um, what else have I tested out? Uh, of course, uh, YouTube. You get to enjoy YouTube in 4K. And uh, yeah, you get to you enjoy YouTube in 4K. As I said, it loads super fast. So that's another thing that I love about this. And uh, yeah, the TCLC 835. Who would I recommend this for? Um, first of all, this is the 75-inch version. And for the 75-inch version here in Kenya, it goes for around uh, just up above quarter million shillings. So um, for a lot of people, maybe that might be too much. So maybe the right, the right uh, size for you might be the 75, uh, the 65 uh, inch version, which goes for around 170,000 shillings. Um, and 65 is really good because 75, yes, they always say like you can never get someone who says uh, big TV is bad, like big TVs look good. Like I was watching a few football games here 
like this game i watched this game on this tv and it looked too good it looked perfect yes you can enjoy your podcast on this you can enjoy your local content on this and uh, yeah so um so when it comes to colors the colors look vibrant um, uh, sometimes if you're watching in a dark room you might see a few of the limitations of this tv but i'd say that this tv is the closest thing that i've had to an oled like this is the closest to oled that i've seen uh the picture quality is really good uh, as i said like there are things that i loved like hdr10 i loved when the content is on hdr10 more than hdr10 plus uh, of course hdr10 plus is even darker and when it's darker when i was trying to play around with the uh, picture settings i didn't get that um the picture that i loved most the way i the picture that i got on hdr10 and uh yeah another thing i didn't maybe i might say i would have loved this tv to have more of is the picture options i feel like the picture options are not enough uh so you have vivid you have low power you have smart hdr sports movie but now if you there's sometimes when if you connect like some movie content you end up getting the imax enhanced which looks really good on hdr so imax enhanced um i was able to enjoy that uh when i was using prime i don't know if i can be able to get something that has prime that has that so um no i didn't want to exit i didn't want to exit so yeah uh, imax enhanced uh looks good but yeah that's the only maybe thing that i felt like maybe they could have given us more options on how to get that perfect picture that you want where the skin tones like look perfect and what for you to get that uh, the settings they are give, uh, giving you is mostly on uh, the movie setting like uh if you leave the picture under the movie setting you'll get some good you know picture quality so here this is that warm warm picture that's one of the things that i loved about this and as i said the good thing about this is it gets super bright so even dark shows like shelter look really good on this uh, of course this show is a very colorful show uh, and look, it looks perfect uh, on this. That's Harlem. Richard looks really good. And um, yeah, the boys, if you love the crazy stuff. So as you can see, I was testing out all this just to be able to get you, uh, to, to tell you like what I feel about that. So yeah, when it comes to picture quality, I'd say this is a like basically a perfect TV. And also when it comes to softwares, uh, running Android is good because this means that different members of your family can end up using this um yeah so if we had to come to settings and then we use uh, we look at accounts and sign in so you can see like three people have signed in into this and let's say you you live in kenya you're using this someone else lives in the us someone else lives in britain and they've come to visit so these people can end up like having even their apps on this tv so where you have the person who was living in the us and now all of a sudden can use his hulu and he's around the person in britain can use this and of course they are one of the advantages of an android tv has always been the fact that you can install a vpn you see and then if you install a vpn of course you end up uh, living in quotes where you want to live so that's uh, like an advantage of the software because there are some other tvs like samsung and uh, lg they use like their own softwares and that comes with some limitations because if you don't you know like you can't change anything you just have to work with what that tv has and those tvs has uh, they have very few softwares this one has a lot and a lot and a lot of softwares you can get your local show maxes dstv then you can also go abroad yeah but um yeah but you, you always hear me say like the main reason why i buy a tv is because of the picture quality but this tv also has something that a lot of tvs don't have and that's the speakers it has these really big speakers like the own it's uh the own is so powerful that sometimes you have to reduce the volume because of the way the bass vibrates like the bass vibrates so much that i remember my friends were watching this tv when i was outside and i thought it was a sound bar like when you're coming in and you listen to the voice and you listen to the sound the sound looks like um yeah, someone might think you're using a soundbar and it's just this tv has these very huge speakers that are behind and that uh works on a, as an advantage and can also be a disadvantage if you want to mount it on the wall i felt like this one if you're using a tv stand you're going to enjoy that bass more because it does not vibrate against the wall as much because yes this the, the tv thumps it thumps really well so if you don't have a budget for extra stuff of course 
this is the best TV. You don't need to buy a sound bar. The sound that comes with this TV is perfect. So, yeah, this is, uh, as I said, the C845. So, um, a quick recap. Software running um, Android 12, which is really good. I'm going to tell you more about Android 12. And uh, apart from that, get super bright. Apart from getting super bright, the blacks are really black. Like, yes, a few minutes you might see that a little blooming and that's in a dark room but mostly it's basically like if you're watching during the day the picture is perfect because you can't notice the bloom and the blacks are super 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 perfect but what surprised me was is i don't know how many dimming zones this one has the 75 inch but even in a dark room like when you're watching like the credits the black is black it's like it's pure black so so there's that um, as I said, the picture quality uh, is the closest to OLED that I've seen. And yeah, I'd recommend this. Uh, the best value size, I feel like, is 65 inch. With 65 inch, you'll get at around 170. The 55 inch, maybe you'll get at around 140. I feel like for that 10 extra inches, uh, yeah, the 30,000 shillings is worth it. Yeah, that's it. Because now the difference between the 75 inch and uh this uh the the 75 inch and the 65 inch there's a difference of at least around 80,000 shillings so that's why it gets tricky but if you can afford a huge tv i'd always go for the biggest tv that i can get this tv is really fun watching movies on it's fun watching football on we watched uh chelsea uh i uh, know manchester united winning versus west ham we watched arsenal winning versus liverpool uh, we watched the draw between Tottenham and Everton. Like we've watched a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of uh, games, uh, uh, these games here. And apart from that, of course, a bunch of movies. Yeah, and I, I love it. Like, yeah, this is a good, good, good TV. And I had to like just show you like when it comes to the softwares. And there's, of course, it has Google Assist. So you can have the thing of uh, um, open Google Play Store. Where if you open Google Play Store, you can come here and uh, if you have the right accent, of course, let's switch. So here, there we are in the British account. We can come to the Kenyan account. And here in the Kenyan account, of course, we can look for something like Showmax. So, okay. Um, I don't trust my accent. That's why I'm not just saying Showmax. But let me, let me try. Let me try. Uh, Showmax. Let me see. Does it open Showmax? No, it went to YouTube. So I think I should have just searched that. So yeah, you can get your Showmax, you can get your YouTube, you can get all these streaming apps. And as soon as you have those ones, you open up um, uh, you open up your world to like a lot of entertainment from all over the world. So yeah, I love this. Um, as I said, very good picture quality, uh, fun to watch. Yeah, and uh, I, I didn't see any content that I hated watching on this one. And another thing that this is really good at is upscaling. Like, one of the things I've noticed um, with, uh, like, the LG C2, which the LG C2 is the same price, the 65-inch. If it's on offer, it's the same price as this one uh, when this is not on offer. So, uh, the this one knows how, like, this TV, like, upscales, like, 1080p content looks really good on this compared to even the OLED. So yeah, that's one of the things that I loved about this. So yeah, yeah, my recommendation, yeah, C845 from Mindeled TV, the closest you'll ever get to OLED and it's very good picture quality. And here I'd say TCL knew like who they were targeting. They were targeting that one person who loves just watching stuff across board, stuff that looks really good that um maybe i'll step out of a frame and come back really fast and what i'm doing is um i was taking the apple tv remote just to show you one thing that you can enjoy with such a tv and one of the things you can enjoy is you can set your apple tv to detect the content that you are watching you see like right now it's dolby vision and the reason you can do that is you can come here and then uh, under video and audio you put much content so it matches content range and uh much uh frame rate that means if you're watching dolby vision you see the dolby vision and if you decide that you're going to amazon prime for example and you're watching hdr it's going to give you hdr so yeah i've loved using this one um i've not seen anything that i 
can make me not recommend this TV to you. So yeah, if you're looking for a new TV, yeah, this one starts, the smallest size you can get is 55 inch. And from 55 inch, uh, the next you can get is 65. 65 is always my recommendation. But if you can afford a 75, afford one, like just buy one. And make sure someone helps you to put this on. Because one of the things that I noticed is this TV is heavy. The 75 inch version, this this is uh, what? It's um, an engineering masterpiece and it's really heavy. But it's really good. So yeah, you'll enjoy this as I said. You can make your TV um, like, uh, yeah, in the, it's called the content. It can be showing you the content. So that one was HDR10 plus, and this is because the uh, Apple TV I'm using here does not have HDR10 plus. But if I was to go to the native app itself, like for example, you'll get HDR10 plus on the same thing. So yeah, um, yeah, the C845. A really really good tv so you can see it has hdr10 and it also has hdr10 plus hdr10 plus is a little bit dark but the colors pop a little bit more so yeah let's see um this has taken a lot of time to load so i guess maybe this is telling you it's my time to go so the c845 uh it's a 2023 model so i think it's like a tv that's going to serve you for a very long time so maybe it's time to get it. You can see HDR10 plus. Yeah, perfect TV for you. Yeah, as I sign out.